Hello again YouTubers. Today I'm going to give you a look at a more high-end piece of audio equipment from the 1970s. This is the Realistic STA 2000D AM FM stereo receiver. And this stereo receiver was in the Radio Shack catalog. First is the STA 2000 without the D, 1977-1978. It was the top of the line receiver sold by Radio Shack. In 1979, they added the D, the D for, which is a Dolby FM, Dolby filter, or whatever. It was a technology that they were trying to trying to use in the late 70s, and uh, it was in the catalog for two years as that model. It was second in the line at that time, 1979-1980. Um, like I said, I think I said 75 watts a channel, and it was built by Foster Electronics. Although it looks like a Pioneer silver face, very, very reminiscent of the pioneers of that era. Uh, Foster Electronics are also famous for building Fostex recording equipment. You know, I think they're competitors for, is it Tascam? Um, for home recording equipment and things like that, amongst other things. And it was $499.99, and that was in the dollars back then, 30 years ago, and uh, which was a lot of money back in those days. Um, very nice, very nice piece of hardware. And just go over the dial here. We have a tuning indicator, and we're a little bit off here right now. We have a tuning indicator on the left. We have a very, very nice uh, sliding scale there, tuning indicators of the stations. We have the power here, like a power indicator. I turn this up. Labeled Dead Oceans, and the song is called Leaving Trails. And you know, I'm just going to tell you what the number one you can is. See the meters work. And here we have the uh, selector switch, AM, FM, phone, auxiliary one, and auxiliary two. We have the bass, the treble, balance, tape dubbing. Then over here we have MPX high MPX filter, mute, mono, loudness, Dolby FM, speakers A and B, and the power switch. Then we have the volume. They're big, healthy knobs. <laughs> and uh, very solidly built. Like, you, you pick this unit up, and it's heavy. It's very, very heavy. It's, you know, a good, it's a good 30 pounds or, or more. Very solid piece of 70s hardware. Great for playing your favorite vinyl. I'll just stand up here and we'll have a look down inside. The lights and the indicator lamps are very easy to get at for replacement and servicing. Huge transformer. It says realistic quality on it. It's a very nice unit. I'm going to turn it around. Nice wood sides. On the back, what's kind of different about this one, and we have all the standard plugs, whatever. We have the speakers here, you have A and B, and you also have RCA plugs um, for RCA, the RCA type speakers which are, you know, for the inexpensive speakers that Radio Shack used to sell all the time, most of them were like RCA plugged, so it had that extra feature too. We even have tape one, tape two DIN jacks or plugs in the back, as well as the RCA ones here, tape one and tape two. <clears throat> we have the auxiliary one, auxiliary two, and we have the phono here on the right-hand side. More often it's, they're usually on the left-hand side of the panel, but this one's on the right-hand side. And we have the antenna plugs. I have someone that I work with who's looking for a good old system to play vinyl on. And uh, I mentioned I had a couple pieces for sale. I have the 2100D. It's the next one larger than this, which makes this a duplicate. And I, um, I don't really need this receiver, but uh, it was a good one while I was using it. And I'm sure he'll be happy with it if he, if he decides to buy it. Thank you for watching this today.